Um, we are at the meeting with Eterni, which is a very um, unique company. And my question is, is just also kind of uh, mind training for your for your, um, your players? Uh, you mean playing chess? Yeah. yeah, of course. I think it's a good uh, alternative uh, to play chess. It uh, keeps your ideas somewhere else, not in the ski jumping hill. And it's, it's, a, it's a brain training because you have to train the memory. It seems that uh, those guys who are playing best in chess, they have uh, a lot of numbers and, and letters in their head and they know they can count uh, many steps forward. Uh, this is also something that is important in sport, that you are able to anticipate how things will develop. So I think it's good to play, uh, to play chess every now and then. Yeah. This is a popular game in Norway? It's a really popular game in Norway because of Magnus Carlsen, who is the uh, world champion in chess, of course. Um, so in the last few years, since he has been world champion for the first time, it has been an extreme hype in, in chess. Mm -hmm. So I guess every kid uh, is starting to play chess at the moment. Okay, and then some question about the competitions right now here we are in Oslo and yesterday we heard that the um, competition will take place without any audience. In your opinion, it's a good, right decision? Well, we have to, we as a sport, we just have to accept what the, what the Health Institute is telling us. Um, it's, a, it's a bigger thing than, than just saying that uh, there is a virus going around. Um, so we just have to accept the situation as it is and make the best of it. I think it's a very good decision to, to still let the competition go because there's many spectators on TV. We can still sell our product to those people who are sitting in front of the TV. Uh, but of course, it's not so much fun when there is no people in the stadium. But that's the situation. Everybody has to cope with it. Uh, we are not the only ones. There are other sports and other business uh, businesses uh, are coping with, with this situation, with the virus. And that's something we just have to accept how it is. But even without the audience, do you think it's dangerous for your, um, you know, um, for the media or players, ski jumpers? Well, I don't think so. The, the, the big thing is that if it's many people in a, in a very close area, that's one thing. And uh, the most, con the biggest concern was actually transportation, yeah. because most of the people are taking the subway uh, train up here to the hill, and that's really packed. There's many people in a, in a small space, and that's the biggest chance for, for infection. Um, we are a very closed group. Uh, we have been traveling the whole winter, and so far there has no, not been any any. Um, uh, anybody infected with the virus so for us it's um, I think it's if you have good routines and you make sure that you stay you know in, in an okay distance to, to other people then the chances are not so big that you be infected but you never know so we have to be careful and we have to follow the good routines so it's all about safety but do you think there will be any audience in Lillehammer, Trondheim and then Vickersund? Well, as things are so far, they will uh, they will uh, see how the situation develops. It's a totally different situation in Lillehammer compared to here because the traveling to the hill is a different way. Everybody can go there by car. Uh, there is not smaller enough. Uh, it's a smaller town. It's less people, and it's it's the region the region who decides. You know, the the the, the institute of the region which decides if a competition takes place or not. So it's a, it's a different group making a decision in Lillehammer than it is here in Oslo, and it's a different group in Trondheim people who are more uh, who have more experience around the local situation and that's that's really good so I think it's possible that we have uh, four different situations now in the, in the next uh, four venues and do you think ski flying championships in Planeta should be held in this situation uh, that's really hard to tell of course we would like to have it um, everybody's keen on going to planet so it's it's always a fantastic fantastic place to go with all the spectators and everything but if it's not possible to have it with spectators and the next best possibility for us it is to have it without spectators because of course we want to jump for medals this year.